Hello students, today I am going to deliver a lecture on the topic Expressionism in Theatre. In this lecture, I shall talk about the arrival of Expressionism in Theatre. I shall also throw light on the particular characteristics and techniques of Expressionist drama. The description of the works of some notable Expressionist dramatists will also be the part of today's lecture. First of all, let us start with the origin of Expressionism. There was a vigorous Expressionist movement at first in verse and painting originating in Germany at the start of the 20th century. As so often, a useful general term is shared by other art forms. Expressionism was soon applied to music, architecture and theatre. Its typical attribute was to present the world exclusively from a subjective viewpoint, distorting it profoundly for emotional impact to bring out state of mind. Expressionist artists tried to express significance or emotional experience as opposed to physical reality. Swedish playwright Strindberg and German actor and playwright Frank Wittekind were the ones who did a notable experimentation in the field of Expressionist drama and paved way for the upcoming Expressionist playwrights. Wittekind's Spring Awakening, Lulu and Pandora's Box confront taboos, unmasking social and family norms and values. Strindberg's experimental works such as The Ghost Sonata and A Dream Play are the best examples. Both these works suggest an unreal, dreamlike or nightmarish depiction of human existence. In The Ghost Sonata, Strindberg creates a world in which ghosts walk in the bright daylight. A beautiful woman is transformed into a mummy and lives in the closet and the household cook sucks all the nourishment out of the food before she serves it to her masters. The protagonist in Strindberg's A Dream Play is Agnes, a daughter of the Vedic god Indra. She dives to earth to shoulder witness to issues of human beings. There she meets about 40 different characters. In the wake of encountering various kinds of human sufferings, Agnes realizes that human being's condition is pitiable. At last, she comes back to the heaven and starts corresponding to the awakening from a dream-like sequence of events.
Strindberg explains some of the main characteristics of expressionist drama in the following manner. Anything can happen. Everything is possible and probable. Time and space do not exist. Working with some insignificant real events as a background, the imagination spins out its threads of thoughts and weaves them into new patterns. A mixture of memories, experiences, spontaneous ideas, impossibilities and improbabilities, the characters split, double, multiply, dissolve, condense, float apart and coalesce. But one consciousness is superior to them all, that of the dreamer. Paul Kornfeld, the Czech dramatist, coined the term Seelen drama, that is, drama of the soul. He also explains freedom and the movements of the actor. Let him dare to stretch his arms out wide and with a sense of soaring speak as he has never spoken in life. Let him not be an imitator or seek his models in a world alien to the actor. In short, let him not be ashamed of the fact that he is acting. Let him not deny the theater or try to feign reality. Now, let us talk about the works of some notable expressionist dramatists. Georg Kaiser and Ernst Toller were the most renowned playwrights of early 20th century. Other notable expressionist dramatists were Reinhard Sorge, Hans Henry Jahn, and Oskar Kokoschka. Kokoschka's play Murderer, The Hope of Women, has often been called the first expressionist drama due to its symbolic use of colors, innovative lighting, and the movements of the actors. It was first staged in July 1909 in Vienna. Action is focused on the characters of the man with his band of warriors and the woman with her group of maidens. The play presents the struggle for dominance between the man and the women. At the end, the man kills the women with a touch. He also kills the warriors and maidens in a similar way and then exits through a passage of fire. Walter Hassenclever's The Sun is credited to be the first full-length expressionist play. It was published in 1914 and was first performed in 1916. The Sun and Reinhard Sod's The Beggar and other similar plays of this class exhibited the clash of the periods viciously abandoning the father figure and indicating a trust in youth in messianic terms. Military thrashing and the breakdown of the old system in 1918 gave expressionist drama a strong political push. Fritz von Unruh's A Family and Ernst Toller's Transfiguration gave a new dimension to expressionism. Both of these dramas were initially staged in 1919. Termed a playwright of ideas, Georg Kaiser had satirized Borgia's life in From Morning to Midnight, which was written in 1916 and was first performed in 1917. Arnold Bronin's Wittermord, that is, Parricide, was a crude dramatization of Freudian thinking where a young man makes love to his mother and stabs his father. However, Arnold claimed that he was not attempting to write what could be seen, only what he felt, nothing objective, all subjective. Now let us talk about the characteristics and techniques of expressionist drama. Expressionist drama felt no dedication to the portrayal of everyday reality. It was discretionary. Such plays couldn't be played by conventional and accepted methods. A new methodology to stage outline uncovered the close connections between expressionism in drama and the visual arts. Following are the particular characteristics and techniques which can be associated with the early expressionist play. A. Its atmosphere is frequently vividly dreamlike and nightmarish. 
shadowy lighting helps the disposition and visual twists in the set. A trademark utilization of pause and silence also helps the dream impact. B. Settings abstain from replicating the point of interest of naturalistic drama. The adornment is frequently made up of unusual shapes and astounding shades. C. The plot and structure of the play has a tendency to be incoherent and broken into episodes and incidents. Instead of the dramatic conflict of the well-made play, the emphasis is laid on sequence of dramatic statements made by the dreamer, generally the author himself. D. Characters lose their uniqueness and are just recognized by anonymous designations like the man, the father, the women, and the son, etc. Such characteristics are stereotypes, exaggerations, and caricatures rather than individual personalities. They speak to social groups as opposed to specific individuals. E. The dialogue unlike conversation or discussion, is poetical, flushed, and beautiful. At one time, it may take the type of a long, melodious monologue, and at an alternate of staccato telegraphies, made up of expression of one or two words or exclamations. Now F. The style of acting is a conscious takeoff from the realism of Stanislavski. In addition, in dodging the point of interest of human conduct, a player may give off an impression of being exaggerating and embracing the expensive mechanical developments of a puppet. G. The staging is highly visual, involving atmospheric lighting to express the emotional nuances of the play. It involves crowded scenes as well as various devices of expansion including treadmills, staircases, bridges, and revolving doors that make the stage space more elusive. This staging approach introduces a new style of acting that rejects the plausibility in favor of loud utterances, expressive movements, and makeup based on strong contrasts. Now let us talk about American and Irish expressionist dramatists. In the 1920s, American theatre was entrusted in experimentation. Elmer Rice, The Adding Machine, is considered to be the landmark of American Expressionism. This drama mocks the depersonalized drudges of capitalism. The author of this play takes us through Mr. Zero's trial, execution, trip, and arrest going into afterlife. Throughout the entire series of this excursion, Mr. Zero is shockingly unmindful of his deepest desires. Now have a look at a couple of glimpses of the play. I'm sitting here pretty, ain't no one here yakking or yelling at me. Freedom. And look, I ain't missed one day. Not one hour, not one minute. And look at all what I done. We had our good times though, didn't we? We had our highs along with the lows, didn't we?
John Howard Lawson made use of the expressionism for radical purposes in Roger Bloomer and processional. A late example of agitational expressionism could be found in Irvin Shaw's Bury the Dead. The most striking American exponent of expressionism in some of his work was Eugene O'Neill. In the Emperor Jones, he put subjective visions on the stage. In the hairy ape, he presented both oppressor and oppressed in a class social order into puppets. The drama tells the story of a laborer, namely Yang, who undergoes the crisis of identity. The question that keeps him haunting all the time is, where do I belong to? In All Gods, Chillen Got Wings, O'Neill was able to depict the racial clash in strikingly two-dimensional imagery. Sophie Treadwell's Machinal throws light on the unfulfilled desires of a young woman. Where are you going? No place. Must be going someplace. Just to bed. It isn't 11 yet. Wait. Wait. It's only 10.46. Wait. Come here. No, I want to go away. Away? Where? Anywhere away. Why? What's the matter? I'm scared. What of? I haven't slept. I can't sleep. That's nothing. And the moon when it's full. That's nothing. I can't sleep. Of course not. It's the light. I don't see it. I feel it. I'm afraid. Nonsense. Come here. Oh, I want to go away. I can't get away now. Alone. You've never been away alone. I know. What would you do? Maybe sleep. Now, you wait. Wait. We'll take a trip. We'll go to Europe. I'll get my watch. I'll get my Swiss watch. I've always wanted a Swiss watch that I bought right there. Isn't that funny? Wait. Wait. Well, let's not do the dishes right away, Ma. Let's talk. I got it. I can't talk with dirty dishes around. You may be able to, but I can't. Ma, listen, listen. There's a man who wants to marry me. What man? He says he fell in love with my hands. In love. Is that beginning again? I thought you were over that. I gotta get married, Ma. What do you mean? I gotta. You haven't got in trouble, have you? No, don't talk like that. Well, you say you gotta get married. What do you mean? Nothing. I... Answer me! Well, all women get married, don't they? Nonsense! You got married, didn't you? Yes, I did! Lodgers agrees rapid transit is all about the furious pace of the machine age, where life is compressed into 24 hours. Children grow to maturity in a few minutes. Meals are taken in split seconds. Tabloid newspapers are issued at intervals and the loss of even half a minute is a serious matter. The names of two Irish scholars are also worthy of mention here. Dennis Johnson's The Old Lady Says No and Sean O'Cassie's third demonstration of the silver tessie are the top accomplishments of expressionist writing. Sean's Within the Gates is another great example. Even some of his later plays, the third act of Red Roses for Me and Cock-a-Doodle Dandy were touched by it. Now, conclusion. Expressionism is one of the basic modes of perceiving and representing the world around us. Expressionist drama is essentially concerned about the spiritual awakening or the sufferings of the central character. It presents his struggle against social class, values, or established authority. Expressionism was a revolt against objective view of world. Ideologically, expressionism in the German theatre was at first a drama of protest, reacting against the pre-war authority of family and community, the rigid lines of the social order, and eventually the industrialization and society and mechanization of life. It was a violent drama of youth against age, freedom against authority. Expressionism sought to counter materialism and industrialism. It saw humans as machines caught in the industrial revolution with conditioned reflexes and loss of human spirit. 
Expressionism attempted a portrayal of the extreme and distorting emotions that the world causes in the sensitive individual. With this, we come to the end of today's lecture. In my next lecture, I shall talk about the epic theatre. Till then, goodbye. Thank you very much.